Yay, yay. Hey, what's up, folks? This video is going to go out to other YouTubers, people who make content, people who have been on here expressing themselves, being creative, sharing their thoughts, taking time out of their lives to entertain everybody else that's watching. So for you other YouTubers out there, don't you find it funny that when you get berated in the comment section, it's by these self-proclaimed critics? And when you come back and burn them to the ground and cause them ungodly amounts of butt hurt, what do they come back with? You need to learn how to accept criticism. You know, there's a huge difference between criticism and just leaving bitch-made comments. When you leave some stupid-ass comment or just a blatant insult, it's not criticism. And you know these assholes are real proud of themselves, just trolling like a motherfucker? Zero talent. It's like your biggest critics on YouTube, or even in life for that matter, your biggest critics are usually people that are fucking stupid, people that have zero fucking talent, and then they want to come on and critique you. They want to jump on there and tell you how to do your shit. You know, you should really think about something else. Maybe you should stop ranting. You're no good at it. I mean, try to make actual points. Funny thing about that is, these dick suckers that say there's no point. Funny how my comments sections are always chock full of people who get the fucking point. It's just you that doesn't get it, you fucking idiot. So I usually check out everybody who leaves a comment. You know, sometimes I'll correspond with them, get to talk to them behind the scenes on inboxes. Sometimes I'll hit them back in the comment section. But anytime somebody new pops up, I go straight to their channel and check them out and see what they're about. Funny these fucking critics, these trolls, these haters, these no-talent short dick motherfuckers always look the same. They always got the same face, don't they? Zero balls. No fucking balls to show their shit poke face. Then you stop by their channel to see what kind of content they put up and, okay, that's right, they don't have any fucking videos. No face, no videos, and zero subs. That means in spite of any kind of comeback you could ever possibly come up with, in spite of what you might think, at the end of the day, nobody gives a fuck about you, nobody cares what you think, Nobody follows you, you have zero talent, a very short dick, and no fucking balls. Good luck with the rest of your life, you fucking losers. If you want anybody to think that your opinion is even the least bit credible, or valid in any fucking way, assholes, how about you put out your own content? How about you try to be creative? How about you put yourself out there, instead of being an anonymous dick sucker?